Hey there, this is Jorik. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a very stinky subject, uh, which is dog poop. And you're going, wait a second, I'm, uh, I'm subscribing and I want to see videos about Portugal, about Lisbon, what it's like to move, live over there. Um, why are you talking about dog poop? Well, uh, some of the questions that I get in comments are, what are the dislikes or what are the things that you threw you off about moving from the United States over to Portugal? And one thing that I'm still trying to get used to, being here a year and a half, is dog poop on the streets. Um, people just don't seem to pick it up. And when I say that, I want to be careful. Uh, that's not a Portuguese thing. That's not an expat thing. That's not a tourist thing. It's just... It's a thing uh, for some reason uh, and don't really get it. In fact, there are fines up to several hundred euros for uh, not cleaning up dog poop, um, but it's uh, something that is kind of a nuisance uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, if you are traveling to Lisbon specifically and you are staying or walking around the Baixa or Xiadu. That's the main drag in the, the heart of the city center where there's a lot of things. Most likely you may not come across um, a lot of dog poop. Um, but if you are going to the Alfama, which is gonna to be top on your list because it shows up on almost every video and website as a place to meander through the tiny streets, you're gonna come across dog poop. If you're going to Belém, which is on the western edge of the city center, there's a number of things, the Geronimo's Monastery, the Monument to the Discoveries, the uh, Bellum Tower, uh, you're going to find dog poop. Uh, we live in a district called Lapa, which is on the west side near the uh, April 25th Bridge, which many of you will associate. It looks very much like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Uh, that area is really more residential. We do not have many tourists that walk through our area. Um, it's dog poop. It's everywhere. Uh, it's And it's not just once every few blocks. There's a lot of dog poop here. And part of the reason is there's just no enforcement. Uh, and to some degree, there isn't really... Um, uh, maybe people think that the rain's going to wash it away. I'm not quite sure the why as it's here. There just isn't... Um, there's a, there's a lot of dogs, there's a lot of poop, and not a lot of people picking it up. So the reason that I made this video is simply because when you come here, whether you're living here or whether you're going to be a tourist, you're going to spend a great amount of your time walking the streets, looking at buildings, looking at architecture, looking at the tiles, the azulejos that are on the buildings, and you're not going to spend as much time paying attention to the streets. And although they can be a little uneven and narrow and quirky because it's an old city, uh, you normally don't spend much time looking down. You're looking up. Uh, well, when you're in Lisbon and you're walking through Lisbon, you do need to keep track of where you're walking because you don't want to walk into something squishy, uh, i.e. dog poop. So uh, this is not something that uh, uh, is necessarily a, a great video, but it's one of those that I wanted to make sure that as you are coming to Lisbon, uh, hopefully as travel plans permit and pandemic allows, uh, that you make this a destination in 2021 and 2022 and beyond. It's something that you're going to come across, and especially if you're going to live here, whether you're going to be in a city center or out in what would be called the burbs or the outlying more rural areas, you're going to come across it. So it's uh, kind of a, a stinky thing to talk about, uh, but it is something that uh, is just a part of what you deal with uh, life here, living in Lisbon, Portugal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe uh, to watch more videos. Uh, I will have a number of them produced here uh, over this year as we're opening up uh, so that hopefully you'll know the ins and outs of what it's like to live here, uh, more information about moving to Portugal, or if you just are a tourist and you want to get some info, uh, please check out my channel. So thank you and have a great day.